Hey everyone and welcome back. In my previous video I showed you how ZHA and Zigbee 2MQTT can run in the same time in Home Assistant. You can check the video out from the link in the right hand side here. The reason I set that up was for this next step, to migrate my Zigbee devices from ZHA to Zigbee 2MQTT. My plan was simple, I wanted both ZHA and MQTT working together so I could migrate a few devices each day instead of all at once which can be frustrating and time consuming. I wanted the migration to be as close to plug and play as possible. I thought that by using the same names and entity IDs, everything would continue to work without much tinkering. So in this video, we'll test that idea to see what problems appear and how difficult it actually is to make a seamless migration. Step one, find the device you want to migrate from ZHA. In Home Assistant, we need to go to settings, devices and services, find your ZHA integration, and then look for the device you want to migrate. In my case, I'm gonna use the water leakage sensor for this example. Then you need to click on the sensors tab, click on the settings, and here you can find the entity ID. Make sure you write this down because we're gonna use this in the MQTT setup. Before deleting anything, we quickly check the automations that use this device. Step two. Remove the device from your ZHA integration. Still on the same device page, click the three menu dots and select remove device. Confirm the removal and if it's a battery powered sensor, you might need to wake it up or press the reset button before it disconnects successfully. Step three, pair the device in Zigbee to MQTT. We need to go to setting once again, click add-ons, click Zigbee to MQTT and open the web UI. Click permit join and from this point, Put your sensor into pairing mode. For most devices, hold the reset button until the LED blinks. For my IKEA device, I need to press the reset button four times quickly to enter the pairing mode. There it is, it's now pairing my device. Now we re need to rename it using the same name it had in ZHA. Just click the rename device here and then in the friendly name just paste in the friendly name it used to have in ZHA and make sure you Click this one, this updates the Home Assistant Entity IDs, and then click Rename Device. Now that the device is paired, let's check if the Entity ID is the same like in ZHA. We need to go to Settings again, Devices and Services, scroll down to MQTT, and find the device you paired. In my case, it's the Water Leakage Sensor. And then click on the Sensors tab, and click on the Settings. Here you'll find the Entity ID. Now let's compare the two entity IDs, the ones we had in ZHA and the one we have right now in the MQTT section. As you'll see in my case, didn't go perfectly. Even though I used the same name, Zigbee2MQTT created a different entity class. In ZHA, it was binary sensor water leak one moisture, but in Zigbee2MQTT, it became binary sensor water leak one water leak. Because of that class change, the automation stopped working. They still pointed to the old entity. So to fix this, I had to open each automation that used this sensor and replace the old entity with the new one from the MQTT. Some devices might migrate perfectly if the device class and entity name stay the same. But for others, like this water leak sensor, you'll need to adjust automations manually. So can ZHA devices be migrated plug and play to Zigbee to MQTT? Not exactly, you'll always need a little tweaking, but by keeping the same names, checking your automations and updating entity IDs where needed, you can make the process almost seamless and migrate safely at your own pace. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more Home Assistant and Smart Life tutorials and feel free to add a comment on how did you manage to migrate your devices. And I'll see you in the next one.